Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about recurrence relations. So this chapter will contain three sec three parts. First will be introduction and formation of recurrence relation. Second will be linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients, and third will be homogeneous solutions. So let us write some notations first. So let me start with the notations. So if you write the numbers. A naught, A one, A two, A A three, and so on. This is called as a sequence of numbers. Sequence of real numbers. If they are real numbers, then they are real. I'm going to give sequence of real numbers, and it is denoted by curly brackets. Inside the curly brackets, I'm going to write A n. And I'm going to tell the index. So here n goes from what? N goes from zero to infinity. Okay. Sometimes we also we we will denote the same set by just writing a n. Okay. In that case, it is uh, understood that n goes from what? N goes from zero to infinity. Suppose example I write a n n goes from one to infinity. In this case, in this case, the first term is a one, second term is a two, third is a three, and so on. Okay, so this is the notation. Now let us see what is meant by a recurrence relation. So this above definition was the definition of a. It was notation for sequence. What is a recurrence relation? It is an equation. That expresses. That expresses. A n. In terms. Of its. Previous. Terms a n minus one, a n minus two, etc. Where a n for where n is greater than or equal to what? N is greater than or equal to zero. Means n starts from zero, one, two, and so on. It's called recurrence relation. What is meant by a solution of recurrence relation? Let us write down the definition of that. Solution of recurrence relation. A sequence a n is said to be. Solution of recurrence relation if it satisfies the recurrence relation. From here onwards, whenever I write recurrence relation, I will just use a short form R R, which will be. Meaning recurrence relation. Okay. Now, after having these two definitions, we should actually def uh, give an example, right? So the idea will be very much clear to you. So let me write one example. Let a not be equal to one. A one be equal to one. So this is the first term of the sequence. And uh, this is the a one. This is the second term of the sequence because first term is a naught, second term is a one. Next you have a two, a three, and so on. So what is a naught and a one? A naught and a one. I'm giving you one and one. Okay. And define 
a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 where n goes from 1 to dot 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 not 1 2 2 dot 2 3 dot 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 to infinity now let us write put n equal to 2 so if i put n equal to 2 in the above equation what will i get a2 is equal to a2 minus 1 plus a2 minus 2 a2 is equal to a1 plus a0 and therefore what is a2 equal to a1 is 1 and a0 is also 1 so a2 is 2 so from this i got the value of a2 so what is a0 a0 is 1 a1 is 1 a2 is 2 what is a3 what will be the formula for a3 put n equal to 3 so a3 is equal to a2 plus a1 so a3 will be what a2 is how much a2 is 2 a no a1 is how much a1 is 1 so a3 is 3 and we can continue this so what is a, put n equal to 4 we will get a4 what will be the formula for a4 a4 will be a3 plus a2 which will be 3 plus 2 and that is 5 and so on so we get sequence a n what are the terms of sequence a n n from 0 to infinity which is a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 dot 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 and can we write the terms now what is a0 a0 was how much 1 1 a2 was 2 this was 3 this came to be 5 this, this is a4 5 and then this will be 8 and so on so you got a sequence correct and this is the sequence from which recurrence relation from the recurrence relation that recurrence relation was a naught is one a1 is one and a n is equal to how much a n minus one plus a n minus 2 where n starts from 2 to infinity means this formula i am going to use for which n for n equal to 2 to infinity because n equal to 1 is covered here n equal to 0 is also covered here so i will not talk about that n now i will talk about this formula that i have written a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 this formula is valid for which numbers for which n this formula is valid for a if n is equal to what 2 3 and so on these two things are called initial conditions as i have mentioned in my previous lecture these two things are called initial conditions of the recurrence relation and this equation is actually nothing but equation in which a n is expressed in terms of its previous terms what are the previous terms a n minus 1 a n minus 2 okay so this this thing is the is a recurrence relation and what is this sequence that the sequence that we have got above is a very famous sequence and that sequence is called fibonacci sequence the sequence obtained above is fibonacci sequence okay let us take one more example let me take a recurrence relation which is given by a n is equal to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1 where a naught is equal to 0 a naught is 0 okay 
so this is the recurrence iteration and what is this this is the initial condition what is n starting from i'm going to start n from 1 to infinity so put n equal to 1 if I put n equal to 1, I'm going to get a1 is equal to 2 times a0 from this formula, okay? 2 times a1 minus 1 plus 1. What is 1 minus 1? 0. So it is a1 is equal to a0 plus 1. But what is the value of a0? The value of a0 is 0. So this means that a1 is how much? a1 is 1. What is the value of a2? So put n equal to 2. In that formula, a2 is equal to 2 times a1 plus 1, and which is 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3. So value of a2 is 3. What is n equal to 3? I will write a3 is equal to 2 times a2 plus 1, which is 2 into 3 plus 1, which is 7. So a3 is 7. Okay, what is a4? Okay, 2 times a3 plus 1, which is 2 into 7 plus 1, which is 15. So, from the recurrence relation, we get the sequence. What is the sequence? The sequence that we have got is a n equal to n going from 0 to infinity which is a naught a1 a2 a3 a4 dot 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 which is equal to a naught was 0 it is 1 3 7 15 and so on okay is solution of which recurrence relation the recurrence relation a n equal to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1 with a naught equal to 0 this is the recurrence relation and this recurrence relation represents what this rep here a n represents number of represents minimum number of minimum number of moves needed to solve the problem of Tower of Hanoi correct what is this if you have only one disk, you will need only one move. If you have two disks, you will need three moves. If you have three disks, you will need seven moves, right? So what is AN? AN represents the minimum number of moves needed to solve the problem of Tower of Hanai with how many disks? With N disks. Correct. If you have four disks, what is A4? A4 means minimum number of moves needed to solve the Tower of Hanoi problem for four disks. And how much is it? From the above sequence, you can see it is how much? A4 is how much? A4 is 15. So if I ask you, what is A5? A5 means what? A5 means minimum number of moves needed to solve the problem of Tower of Hanai with five disks. So what will be your answer for A5? We know for five disks, we need 31 moves. So A5 will be how much? A5 will be 31. Okay.